G'day Reefers, I'm Cam the Fish Guy and you're watching Gallery Aquatica TV. So today we've got the first of a series of videos that we're going to be doing called Epic Tanks and Why They Work. In this series we're going to be taking you into the homes and businesses uh, with some of the best aquariums that we see on a regular basis. And today we've got a absolute epic mammoth tank. It's almost 3000 litres and it's right above me, check it out. So as you can see, this massive tank is a room divider. It's a peninsula tank, and so being viewed from all sides, it's particularly important that every section of the tank is, uh, uh, has the perfect type of corals in the right position, because every side of this tank is a viewing side. Now, one of the best things about this tank, I'll take you through some of the corals, but the hammer garden. As you can see, we've got pretty much every colour hammer that you could possibly imagine. We've got Acropora, Montipora, we've got Pavona, uh, Blasto, Acans, Duncans, Zoas. The amount of colour in this tank is incredible. So we might put some food in the tank and this way we can show you all the fish at the best. So anyone who knows me knows that pyramid butterflies are one of my favorite fish. And this is the perfect tank for them. They've got heaps of space. They're incredibly active. You can see there's one, two, there's five of the pyramids in here. There's also a beautiful lipstick tank, a few little chromas, and of course, every tank has to have some clownfish. But there's also Lenardi wrasse, a big blue tank, uh, banana wrasse, all sorts of fish. And given the shape of the bommy, the structure in this tank, it creates the perfect zone for the fish to swim around and really sort of show off their color and movement. It looks really good, these fish. Don't they love the food? So now we've had a chance to admire this beautiful tank, let's talk about some of the reasons why this tank is so good. First of all, the maintenance on this tank. We do very large water changes on this system and we gravel vac the tank, uh, we've got magnet cleaners for the glass and so the, the really regular uh, maintenance and we, probably the most important thing, we test the water very frequently. So this allows us to ensure that all the parameters are exactly where we want it to be. Of course it's had its ups and downs like all tanks but because we test regularly, when there is a problem, we're able to get onto it as quickly as possible. Another thing with the maintenance that we do is we're very particular with the way we position the corals. Now, given that this is such a large tank, it's 1.2 meters deep, so that's four, foot, four feet deep, 
and there's only access from one side. The only way to position corals uh, on the side without the access and down the bottom is to get in the tank. So this is something else we do regularly. Um, jump in the tank, I, I wear a wetsuit and uh, we glue in the corals and it also allows us time to just fix up any problems in the difficult to reach zones. And so given the bommies, the fact that we've got a lot of space in between the two bommies, it gives me the perfect position to sit in the tank and to reach around and access all sections of the tank. So the component tree. So we'll have a look at the lighting, we'll have a look at the filtration, we'll have a look at the dosing. So we'll start with the lighting, let's have a look. So this tank runs with seven Hydra 52 hyperdrives. On the end, the hyperdrives are actually running end to end and the three in the middle are side by side. Now we need to maintain access in this area because this is where I get into the tank. Um, but having the extra two on the sides, on the end, sorry, allows us deep penetration of light all the way to the bottom either side of the bombies. And so you can see, even this is three feet deep here and four foot deep here, with this strong, really strong lights, great penetration right to the bottom of this four foot tank. Also, whilst we're here looking at the tank, uh, we'll have a look at the water flow. Now, 3,000 litres is a big tank, so we have to ensure that there's good quality flow, uh, strong flow, and nice random flow. So we've used the Max Spec Gaia 280 Twins. So we've got one pump either side of this bommie, and we have two pumps at the end at the top. So these allow great movement across the surface and you can see how, uh, how much the water is agitated at the top of the tank at the surface. So that allows great oxygen diffusion. diffusion. Um, it allows CO2 to escape from the system and so having uh, the ability to use a variety of programs with the positions of these pumps gives us great flow throughout the tank. And you can see it, particularly with the euphilia, they're just moving the perfect amount. Uh, all the corals are loving the flow. Really well serviced by the max spec guys. So probably the most interesting thing about this tank is the filtration. As you may have noticed, there's no uh, section underneath the tank. There's no cabinet with filtration. You can see that we've got the drainage lines here and exactly where the drains feed and the filtration system is what we'll have a look at now. It's pretty exciting. Let's go have a look. So we've just come downstairs and outside and uh, we saw where the drains were in the tank but let's see where those drains go exactly. Just this way. All the way up there. So this is the drainage system for the tank and the return lines. Let's have a look at the rest of the filtration and I'll show you exactly why this tank works. standing on right now is half of the filter. This is the other half. 3,000 litre tank, 3,000 litre filter. It's a massive system. So I'll jump down and we'll have a look inside. It's pretty exciting. So, the water comes down the drains, through piping that runs down underneath of here, and into the 
the sump in this section. Let me open up and uh, we'll see where it goes from there. So down the end of this first sump, we've got, uh, I think it's four, seven inch filter socks. So another part of the maintenance, we clean these filter socks every single week. They do catch quite a lot of muck and uh, they really help to polish off the water. This section here, we've basically got it just for, for water storage to increase the volume of the system, but it's very handy to be able to remove one of these and drain out this sick this whole section so we can do an extra large water change so water flows from this section through the, the plumbing into where we've got our protein skimmer and so it's a very large high door it has uh, three feed-in pumps and the, the waste from this skimmer is, actually drains out through a hole in the sump and we collect it in a 20 litre drum. Now this skimmer is very efficient and we get about probably uh, well up to about 10 litres of skim every week which is uh, another job that we do weekly. We clean out the skimmer, we clean out the socks, uh, we do a water change. Um, we really do a lot to keep this tank running uh, as well as it is. Anyway, this is the first sump. Now I'll show you what's in the second section. Okay, sump number two. It's a very large refugium. Now, lately we've been running very low nutrients and some of this macro algae has died back a little bit, um, but typically it fills this entire section. Yeah, it's definitely a little bit thin at the moment, but uh, we're running very low nitrate and phosphate, so it's not too much of a problem. But we've got our T5 lighting system, and you can actually see we've got a little bit of biological media. Uh, we've got marine pure bioballs underneath, and we've got some sponge. Uh, well, it's actually, it's Dacron, uh, that the water flows through. It helps to polish off the uh, any fine particles in the water, but it's also working as effectively like a wet dry filter and a little bit like a refugium too. You can see that algae on it, um, again, sucking more nutrients out of the system. We've also got a very large sponge in here, which acts as a, a filter to stop particles getting into the return pumps. Turn pumps. As you can see, we've got two Ecotech Vectra L1s. So they're pumping out probably around about 9,000 litres per hour each. Given it's such a large head height, of course they do lose flow um, to pump the water up that far all the way to the top of the tank. But before the water goes back to the tank, we've got two 150 watt UV sterilizers. So anyone that uh, knows how I reef, knows my um, opinions about white spot and velvet, knows that I love UV sterilizers. And the important thing is to match the size of the UV sterilizer to the size of the tank. As you saw, we've got some fish which are very prone to white spot. Um, all the tangs, for example, um, pretty much all the fish are susceptible to white spot. And having such a large UV sterilizer system with the appropriate flow pumping through them, really protects the tank against uh, protozoan disease, white spot and velvet. This is really, in my opinion, the reason why the fish do so well. There is a third part uh, section to this system that we're gonna show you. Um, it's not the filtration out here, it's not the tank upstairs, it's actually the dosing system and the chiller. But they're in another spot, they're under the house. Have a look. So I'll crawl inside and uh, I'll just run you through what we've got in here. 
little bit hard to access, but as you can see, um, we, we've got enough space to do everything we need, but it just means I have to crawl. So we've got the chiller. Uh, it's a massive Halia. It does the job really well. You can see, even on a day as hot as today, I think today was it was well over 30 degrees, uh, the tank is running at 24.3. So it does the job beautifully. Uh, importantly, it's well aerated. It, it's not enclosed in here at all. So this chiller is able to work at its most efficient. Uh, we also have, just sort of sitting here, we could probably fix these up and uh, put them up on the wall with the other ones. But uh, here's the control for the L1. And we've got the other L1 controller up there. Uh, we've got our automatic top up. We've got a Twins um, auto osmolator it is. This is our RO reservoir. So the Twins osmolator is feeding RO from this reservoir straight into that second sump we looked at. And this reservoir is fed directly by a RO system. So that's everything down here, all the filtration. Uh, let's go back upstairs and check out the tank again. So thanks for watching the first episode in Epic Tanks and Why They Work. In future episodes, we're gonna look at some other amazing tanks and we're gonna show you the exact reasons why these tanks are so successful. But uh, I think that this is probably one of the, the best home aquariums you'll ever see. And everything about it is, as far as I'm concerned, absolutely perfect. Uh, of course, as with uh, most tanks, there's still things that we can do, spaces to fill, but uh, I think that you'll agree it is an incredible tank. So thanks for watching Gallery Aquatica TV. I'm Cam the Fish Guy, and thanks for watching. So that's our video for today. If you enjoyed it, hit the like button, hit the subscribe as well. We'll be putting out videos every week showing a, a new tank with new products. There's gonna be lots in all the videos. I'm Cam the Fish Guy and keep on reefing.